So today I'm going to be talking about how to prompt for text-based generative AI. So if you're using any of this uh, text-based generative AI, whether that's Google Gemini, ChatGPT, Claude, this is going to work. And this is coming from Google's uh, publication on Prompting Guide 101. So if you are uh, a fan of Google Gemini like I am, I think this is going to be very useful, but keep in mind that it works regardless of any type of um, text-based generative AI tool that you use. So let's Let's get right into it. So if you are new to using any of this text-based generative AI, which I doubt that you are if you're watching this video, you're probably using it for a while. But if you're just wanting to improve your prompting skills a little bit, maybe you want to get better results, you want to get a more structured result that you can use in your everyday life, maybe you just use it for your creative uh, brainstorming, whatever that is, uh, this video is going to be very helpful and it's going to be very simple, very straightforward. I'm not an expert by any means, I'm just someone who, you know, fundles with these things a lot i play around a lot with it and a lot of this concept that i share are things that i've been doing for a while but uh backed up by what i found in this prompting guide 101 and by the way i will leave a link to the prompting guide 101 which you can find on google's website it's completely free you can download the digital version of it uh once you click on the link down below so let's dive right into it so there are four things you need to keep in mind when you are trying to prompt for this text based generative ai and i have them listed up here so the four things that you want to keep in mind are one is your task two is your persona three is the context and the fourth one is the format so let's break down these four things in more detail in order to generate very good responses from Google Gemini, ChatGPT, or Claudia, you need these four things. You need to clearly state the task that you want it to perform. Uh, what do you want it to do for you? Do you want it to write you an ad copy? Do you want it to write you a guide? Or do you want it to write you an email? What is it specifically that you want this AI tool to do for you? And the second one is your persona. You need to tell AI what it is. For example, when I want to write an ad copy for some of the advertising that i do on you know social media facebook instagram google i tell the ai tool act as if you were a world-renowned copywriter now this gets the uh, ai in a state of feeling that is different from what everybody gets now ai knows that world-renowned copywriters have specific attributes and specific characteristics and these are the things that they infuse into their writing so if you're telling exactly what it is you can tell it that act as if you were a world-class surgeon or act as, as if you were a world-class youtuber or a top youtuber or a top podcaster whatever it is but you need to be specific about the thing that you want the ai tool to act as and that is the persona the third one is the context now you want to give it more context about what you want it to write for example you're asking it to write an email as a world-renowned copywriter now what is the context of this email for example you've been receiving a lot of complaints from your customers about uh, some of the products that you sell on your website now you may write something like act as a world-renowned copywriter i need you to write me an email that is a task now in this email we've been receiving a lot, a lot of complaints from our customers about one of the our top selling products which is it could be an iphone and this iphone has been coming in you know broken boxes and you know the final product when they take it out has been in really bad condition and we've been receiving a lot of emails a lot of complaints from you know from customers regarding this uh, issue now i want you to write me an email to address these issues now the three things that we've done here we have given it a task we have given it a persona which is to become a world-renowned copywriter and the third one is to give it context which is a problem that we wanted to address now the fourth one is the format now there's different type of format that is useful for many different reasons for example if i'm writing an ad copy i want to implement bullet points into the copy that i write so once i tell my ai tool to write me an ad copy to sell a product i want to tell it i want to give it the format that i want which is one i want this ad copy to integrate bullet points into them i wanted to have two paragraphs and each paragraph should not be more than three lines these are the things that you can infuse into your writing as well so when you give it format you are more or less guaranteeing that re the result that you receive is going to be great so keep these four things in mind when you are prompting for your generative ai now in addition to these four elements that we've learned about there are some things that you need to keep in mind as well which is one you want to use natural language these ai generative tools are being trained on natural language so you don't want 
to write anything that is not natural. You don't want to use too many jargon or too many technical words. The second one is to be specific. Be specific about what you want exactly. Don't just give it something broad and something general like write me an ebook on something nice. That's not specific. For example, you can tell it to write you an ebook about freelancing for beginners. That is how to use a specific language. The third one is to be concise and to avoid complexity. Now, concise is the name of the game. If you're not concise in what you're writing, if you're being too complex in the words you choose and in the format that you write in, it's going to give you non-concise results and you know very complex results as well. So avoid complexity and be concise. And finally, make it a conversation. Now, when I use AI, you will be surprised because I am not talking to it as if I'm talking to a computer. I'm talking to it as if I was, I'm talking to an actual human being. When it gives me a result, I'm telling it, oh, thank you, I love this now this is going to reinforce to the AI that what it just gave you is really good so it's going to continue in that trend um, so you want to make it a conversation as possible um, and be iterative you want to iterate you need to understand that what you're gonna get at first is not going to be perfect you want to make sure that you are iterating the prompts you are uh, including things that you missed or maybe just taking out things that you think are too complex and not concise enough so that is how you prompt now let's now, uh, go over an example here. Uh, this is Google Gemini. This is uh, what I've been using for the last uh, couple of weeks now, almost two months at this time. And I just want to do a little, you know, prompt about some of the things I talked about. I want to write an ad copy for a digital product. So I'm going to tell it act as a world renowned copywriter. I want you to write me a Facebook ad copy. I want to be specific knowing that this ad copy is going to be used specifically on Facebook. Ad copy, when you're writing for a different platform, it's a different ball game. If you're writing for Google, it's different for writing for LinkedIn. The language is going to be different. I want you to write me a Facebook ad copy. Now, I want us to give it context. Ad copy for an ebook about freelancing for beginners uh, i can't spell all right about freelancing for beginners now i'm trying to give it the format that i wanted to write in i want this to be short concise use natural language make it a little fun and targeted towards people who are in the process of quitting their nine to five. Now, this is how you write a prompt. It says, act as a world renowned copywriter. I want you to write me a Facebook ad copy for an ebook about freelancing for beginners. I want this to be short, concise, use natural language, make it a little fun and targeted towards people who are in the process of quitting their nine to five. This has incorporated all the four things that I talked about, which is the task, the persona, the context and the format and also as you can tell i'm using natural language and being as specific as possible and i'm avoiding complexity i'm avoiding technical jargon whatsoever and i'm making it a conversation so this is what the option is about and one other thing i like with gemini is that it's going to structure out the response it's going to give me about three different options we're asking a tool like chat gpt i'm going to ask it to uh, write me four different variations now this already knows that i need more than one variation and it's going to have to do that so the first one is the bold and direct format which is the headline ditch the cubicle embrace the freelance life buddy of the ad is tab of the daily grind this beginner's guide to freelancing is your ticket to freedom master the basics find your niche and start earning on your own terms now it goes on and on to give me tips to write better uh ad cup in the, in the future use strong visuals target to the people interested in entrepreneurship remote work etc a b test different ad variations and so on and so forth so it's gonna hedge to give me even tips to make sure that my campaign is successful going beyond just writing the ad copy and leaving me to do all of the work so i hope this video has been helpful if it has consider subscribing again if you have any questions about prompting AI, generative text-based AI, um, leave it in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Again, I'm Daniel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye.